following our previous duo with Scenic24, a super real my team and online 2k gamer, our skill level has improved. My skill went from being this guy, to this guy. I tore RTTP competition in C1, a new people. I was able to pull off 7 victories in a row, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my offense in detail and also my defensive system and how both of them combined together can deal with any matchup I face on my team. So the first matchup today is a pretty good teammate but a traditional 3-2 big size power forward, big size center team. And yes, he's doing no chance against the Fantastics. Usually when I see a team like this, I will put them in the torture chamber with Paul George and my GSW playbook. So AD is here, he's too slow. I start him with a try top 1 for fist, pinch poke pick and roll, 2 point. And I'll also put him in a super fist down, this one, Paul George will come up with a pin down. And once again, the power forwards can't catch up to this, they have to deal with a pin down and then another pick. AD was out of the picture, Paul George dunk. And secondly, I'll also call 1-5 and go down with my 2 guard, drag the slow center up top, and lob it up! Marcus Aldridge with the Sam Fab Addy Oop Show. And last but not least, I will also make up your usual fist up for CNR short. Once again, I'll put their players in a bad spot. I'll move around, get the ball to the middle, and I'll go the other way, bring it back with Steph Curry. Look at that pin drop him. He rotated well, but Chris Bosch is going to come back down for the pin down. See, I pin down, open free ball. Bang, and he bang, bang, bang. And our second matchup, a cheese's stream. Michael Jordan and LeBron James at point guard. Yeah, but doesn't matter. He had no chance either. So here it is, bringing up with LeBron. And usually when I see this, I'll run my chaos defense with them. And if not, I'll just challenge every on ball shot. I'll make sure I do manual contest. And here you can see he's bringing with LeBron again. And I'm gonna hit him with that chaos defense, trap him up top. He's gonna go to Jordan, but I'm not gonna double again. Once he goes to Jordan, after the first double, I rely on my nap system. Just play that protect the paint, neutral aggression. Rebounding is my weakness, but my defense is too strong. He tries to come in again with LeBron and MJ. Not gonna happen. You gotta play team basketball to beat the Fantastics. And just to prove a point, here's our team ball. One pass, two pass, one pick. Look at that flow. Bang! LeBron James, Michael Jordan, no chance. And our third matchup for the day. A well-built team. A 4-1 space out modernized era basketball. Kevin Durant at 4. No, no chance for him either. So when I see this, I don't run chaos. You can see me here just playing that traditional protective paint system, force them in the help side and play my own on body. He tries to set the double pick, I switch to the help defender, recover on the corner. All of my guys can guard all five positions, challenge the shot, that's all we gotta do. Protect the paint, if they're playing 4-1, you won't see no doubles from me. And on offense, because there's no speed, clear speed advantage, so in this instance, I'll start using my wing players. I'll use my small forwards, I'll put them in, in the bad position, go back to my big man, and instead of driving, I'll use the pick and roll, because I don't have a speed advantage at the power forward position. You can see, I'm running the same plays, but different results. See, I'm using Curry to penetrate instead, with the nice behind the back, switch it up. Same plays, different attitude. And here you can see he's running a really big team now. I think he's got Dwayne Wade and Kobe at point guard. With the lack of shooting, now I'm going to hit him with that chaos defense. He's got Tim Duncan on and DeAndre Jordan, so he's no longer running 4-1. So the moment they switch to 3-2, I'm going to hit him with the chaos, throw them off. Here he's back to the 4-1, and I'm just going to play help defense again. So I'm not going to chaos. So when he goes 3-2, double. When he plays 4-1, no double. Really throws them off. People aren't re re ready for this. I throw... Multiple defensive schemes though, I'm using the protective paint, shut it down, no baskets! And it's Paul missing as far as. And here he tries to double me, but I'm in the 4-1. See, this is what happens. If you double someone in the 4-1, bang and you bang bang bang, free balls. Can't double someone in the 4-1. Let's go PG-13! And to close the video out, we're gonna show you a beautiful play. So I'm running the pick, I want to go to the corner, but I'm going to fake the corner first, ship his defense again, then go back to the corner. That's great basketball family. So thanks for coming by and checking this video out. And for those of you who was at the live stream last night, uh, thanks. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I finally lost the game in seat one though because I did too much talking. So for those of you who've seen it, that's too bad. But yeah, and I also sold Pete Maravich after this and I picked up Andre Zigudala. So here is the new looking Fantastics, and yes, the MVP is in the building.